Hi, I'm Paul Doherty at the American Geophysical Union meeting in San Francisco, where NASA scientists just released the results of the first analysis of soil samples on Mars by the Curiosity rover, also known as the Mars Science Laboratory. The goal of this mission is to look for carbon on Mars. Previous missions have already discovered that there's water on Mars, and water is a key element in the ultimate search, which is the search for life. But carbon is also essential. Now, they did this by going to a sand dune, which they thought looked like all the other sand dunes we'd seen on previous missions to Mars. They wanted a generic sand dune to test. And they took a scoop of that sand, and they analyzed it inside the rover with their chemistry laboratory they actually brought an oven to Mars. And that's the core of their chemistry laboratory. So they dumped the sand into this oven and started to heat it. And they heated it up 100 degrees Celsius, the boiling point of water, 200, 300. They went all the way to 900 degrees Celsius. That's hotter than your self-cleaning oven. That's hot enough to drive the carbon out of rocks. So, after they heated the sample, they sniffed it, just like if you take a carbon-containing sample of steak and put it on your stovetop in a fry pan and you heat it up, wonderful smelling carbon compounds come out that make your mouth water. Well, these molecules came out of the rock and were analyzed by the science instruments, the gas chromatograph mass spectrometer. Um, all that says is the gas chromatograph sorts molecules by their size and mass, and the mass spectrometer does even finer analysis, and it tells us what molecules they found. Scientists got really excited because they found organic molecules. Now, don't get too excited. As I often say, it's more complicated than that. <laughs> the organic molecules that they found are called chloromethanes. It's a combination of chlorine with methane. That's natural gas. If you have a home heater that runs on natural gas, it's running on methane. So where did these chloromethanes come from is the question. And the scientists don't know right now if those chloromethanes came from carbons that were transported from Earth inside the rover, or if those chloromethanes have carbon in them that came from Mars. So, they have to determine that on future studies. Here's the deal. Previous Mars missions have looked for carbons. The Viking lander in 1976 looked on Mars for carbon molecules and organics, but they didn't find it. And that was really strange because we know that meteorites are bringing organic molecules to Mars all the time. Well, we had to wait for decades until the Phoenix lander landed at the poles of Mars and discovered a compound called sodium perchlorate. Sodium perchlorate does an interesting thing. When you put it in an oven and heat it up, it releases oxygen, which is a good thing if you're on Mars and a human and you want some oxygen. You heat up the soil, you get out some oxygen. It seems that this sodium perchlorate is all over Mars. It's in the soil sample. So they scooped into the soil of Mars, sorted it. They had some big grains about the size of salt grains and some very fine grains, smaller in diameter than a human hair. The big grains were crystalline. They can tell that. They put x-rays through it. The fine stuff was amorphous. That's like glass. And they analyzed the amorphous stuff. They heated it up. And then they found this chloromethane. But here's what they think happened as they heated the sample over 500 degrees Celsius, the perchlorate molecules broke apart, releasing oxygen and chlorine, and the chlorine reacted with the carbon-containing molecules to make chloromethane. So the actual oven itself made the organic molecule that we saw. But what we don't know was where did the carbon come from in the first place? And that's what we're going to do next. As John Grotzinger, head scientist, said, science proceeds at the speed of science. And that means slow. 
They've got to do controlled experiments. They took this first scoop of Mars soil and they found these chloromethanes. So they took a second scoop and found chloromethanes and a third scoop and found chloromethanes. And by repeating experiments like that, they knew it wasn't just a fluke. And they were so excited that he said, this mission is one for the history books, which it will be for sure, but we're still proceeding at the speed of science. And so tune in again for the final report from the Mars Curiosity rover.